Let's talk about price rules in QuickBooks Online because this is a really great question. Can you add a second pricing for customers into QuickBooks, maybe even have three price lists to choose from. I'm going to show you how to turn on price rules in QuickBooks Online and then how to set up a price rule based on some criteria for your clients and customers. And I apologize, I took pictures of my computer screen to show you where to go, so this looks not the best. But if you are using QuickBooks Online, you're gonna go to your account and settings, and then you're gonna click on the sales tab. When you're in the sales tab, you're gonna go down to your products and services, and you're gonna see something that says turn on price rules, and you're gonna toggle that button to on, and then click save. Once you have your price rules feature turned on, you're going to go back to your gear icon and under the second list here where it says lists, you're going to see all lists and you're going to click on that button. And ta-da, now you have the price rules list option. And remember that you have to turn this on. I don't think it's on by default for anybody. So if you go to your lists and you don't see this option, make sure you go into your account and settings just like I showed you and turn that feature on. Now let's create a rule together. When you go to your price rules, you're going to see the button to create a new rule. From here, you're going to name your rule. And then I want you to decide, are you going to apply this rule for all of your customers, for some of your customers, for all of your products and services, for a limited number of products and services. You get to choose to adjust the price by a percentage and whether or not you want to round that price once that percentage is adjusted. And then you can also set a time frame to run this price rule so that it will automatically stop running after you set a certain date or not before a certain date. Again, this is where it looks terrible because I took a picture of my computer screen. I can record a better video like for this and maybe do this on YouTube. This is an example. I've chosen just a few customers. And by the way, this is a sample company. These aren't real people. This is not somebody's real bookkeeping that we're looking at. I just chose a few customers from there. And then I clicked over to the products and services tab, chose the design services in this sample company. And then I told QuickBooks how to change the price, adjust it by that percentage. And then I set those dates to be between September 1st and the end of the year. So the sample company is a landscaping service. As an example, I figured for a landscaping company, maybe they offer a discounted rate on their services during the winter months or during the fall because they um, aren't doing as many design jobs and so they want to run a sale on them. Creating a price rule allows you to automate when you want prices to change and for certain customers. You might have a customer that um, signed up under a certain promotional period and so you would set a price rule for customers that signed up during that promotional period so that you didn't have to always go in and adjust their price on certain services or products. Now one thing to know is that if you are using any other uh, QuickBooks Online subscription besides Plus, you actually won't have the option to use price rules. And this feature is also in beta. Some folks using QuickBooks Online Plus may still not see the price rules option because it's in beta, meaning that they're only giving it access to it for a few customers for QuickBooks Online to kind of try it out and see how it goes. So if you're not eligible for the beta program or if you're not using QuickBooks Online Plus, you might not have access to this feature. But this is one of the features that's going to allow you to have multiple prices for clients or services or choose from both. And it really lets you dial in how you want to set your prices for different products, services, and customers. I hope that helps.